Managing your money, losing weight, and eating healthy are the three most popular New Year's resolutions. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with a nutritionist about how to keep at least two of these promises. What would you say is the trick to making resolutions that we can uh, stay with all year? Making a list of our resolutions or even becoming mindful of what we'd like to uh, change or improve, we need to make sure that we're setting realistic goals to accomplish these. How do you find balance and avoid developing kind of an unhealthy goal? We definitely want to avoid those drastic diets. Those are absolutely unnecessary. The first rule that I would recommend is to make sure that you're eating at regular intervals in the day, so not skipping meals. People think that by skipping meals we're eating less, therefore that will allow for weight loss if that's the goal. But in fact it's the contrary that happens. The body slows down in the way it's functioning, it uses energy less efficiently. Instead of going after the fat stores that we want to manage better and get rid of, the body is at risk to deplete its muscle stores. We hear a lot about staying hydrated. Why is this so important? In our diets in general, for anyone, any age group, male or female, for this human body, water or proper hydration is a fundamental principle. And I would recommend a liter of water distributed throughout the day. We don't drink the whole liter all at once. If you prepare your glass of water before your meal, it helps to appease your appetite so you can control your appetite better. I wouldn't say a minimum of one liter, I would say just around one liter. Some people drink too little water or too much. It's a nutrient and we must respect it as a nutrient, therefore distribute it properly throughout the day in the right portions. Would you say people typically stick to their resolutions? They can with some good planning. Jotting down their objectives, their resolutions, becoming mindful and setting to action. Developing new habits, making little changes or recognizing the, the changes that they need to make and also realizing that they don't need to set unrealistic goals. Thank you very much. My pleasure, thank you.